A police officer from Luzerne County has been suspended with pay. The Pittston officer is being investigated in connection with an incident over the weekend. Our lead IT reporter Andy Mahalshik is live now in Pittston with the details. Andy. Good evening, Candace and Nick. Pittston Mayor Michael Lombardo confirms that incident involves vandalism on vehicles parked in the downtown area here over the weekend. Now, video of the incident, at least a portion of that incident, surfaced on social media. And at this point, I, confirmed, I can confirm that one of our full-time officers who was not in duty um, is one of the people we're looking at as a person of interest um, in this situation. This is video obtained by Eyewitness News. It shows a man appearing to puncture tires on a vehicle on Main Street. We had an incident on Saturday night um, somewhere before 11 p.m. Um, that involved uh, multiple vehicles, four to five um, having at least a single tire on each vehicle damaged. Um, and when I say damaged in the form of they were ruptured with some type of device, be it a knife or something sharp. This red car had two of its tires punctured. It was being towed to a garage to have those tires repaired or replaced. Sources close to this investigation tell Eyewitness News the off-duty officer was asked to leave a yet unnamed business on Main Street because he was allegedly showing signs of intoxication. The off-duty officer, sources say, left the business and lashed out at vehicles along Main Street and a nearby parking lot. I know there's a video cir circulating that's out there. Um, it really doesn't do a whole lot other than, you know, indicate that there was an incident. You can clearly see that. You can't make any identification from that video. There are other cameras on Main Street, and I suspect whoever fronts and leads this evaluation, uh, you know, will access those cameras. Word of the incident has people talking in Pittston. I think anytime something like this happens, um, it should be made clear to everybody and, and there shouldn't be any protecting of people who do a crime regardless of who they are. We all want to um, kind of, we want to respect police officers, you know, and, and for the work that they do and to, to protect citizens like, like you and I. The city is not yet releasing the name of the officer involved pending the outcome of this investigation. Eyewitness News also is not releasing a name at this point because charges have not been filed in the case. I can't tell you, though, I did reach out to that officer for comment for the story. My call has yet to be returned. Reporting live in downtown Pittston, Andy Bohalshik, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Andy. And Luzerne County District Attorney Stephanie Salavantis tells Eyewitness News the state police will handle the investigation. Also, she has referred the case to the state attorney general's office to avoid any possible conflict of interest.